Meet Lachey Hinton. Because I want action right now. I want action right now. This is proof that I have a stalker. Oh, why are you done? Whatever, blah, 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 I'm and all that. That's are you no Y'all do not have enough pull to make me mad. Lachey Hinton, also known as Shay the Apple Store Queen, was the subject of a viral video back in the early 2000s. Shay would walk into an Apple store one day and begin dancing while one of the display phones was recording. She would go on to upload the video not knowing just how viral it would be, spawning what has now been dubbed the Apple Store Challenge, where people would go in and record similar things on display phones. This was the peak of Shay's popularity and a grim future in the making. Today, Shay is single, unemployed, and living off of government assistance. But it would get so much worse than that. Right now, I'm gonna give you a fair warning. This is one of the most disturbing cases I've covered on this channel. There's gonna be a lot of talk of abuse and neglect. I just wanted to give you guys a fair warning because this is all pretty messed up. The allegations against Shay are supported by a mountain of evidence and they are absolutely awful. Believe it or not, Shay was actually publicly liked for quite some time. She was not only the Apple Store queen, but also the inventor of the Apple Store challenge. And back in the early days of the internet, going viral was quite a feat. Everything was going smoothly for Shay until she created a TikTok account of her own. She wanted another taste of the viral fame from her youth and saw no better way to do it than using a dancing platform the thing she went viral for in the first place. As social media tends to do, it reveals a lot about your personal life to the whole internet. And those who were previously not witness to the hellscape that is a Shay's life got a front row seat to mental illness, abuse, and neglect. You see, Shay has children from two different fathers. One is eight and the other one is four. Shay also has two charges of child neglect, her home being riddled with mice, bed bugs, cockroaches, almost every pest you could think of. We're not talking light infestations either, we're talking riddled. I have seen pictures of her youngest son covered in bed bug bites. I've also seen people talking about how she sent her eight-year-old son around the house setting rat traps. All of this and so much worse occurs during Shay's live stream. Needless to say, the people who witnessed this all on livestream were not very happy. Not only was Shay neglecting and abusing her children on camera, but she was also raging at the people calling her out on it in chat. And once these people discovered exactly where she lived, Shay's life changed. But everybody thinks I'm lying. This is proof that I have a stalker. Excuse me. Excuse me, do you have a ring camera over there? You got a ring camera over there? I, I, I need to, I, can you like uh, show me who, who did this or something? Cause somebody came over here and, and put a whole bunch of food on my on my house. Is it, is, it, is, it, is it through DoorDash or is it through, um? give it to me. Cause I know they paid for it, didn't they? I know they paid for it cause I know they paid for it if, if it's through DoorDash. Yeah. Thank you for ever paying for it. Thank you for using your DoorDash. Now play with your mama, not me. Next time, use Domino's or something. Thank you. I appreciate it. I think there's a $67 for the cash. They say that they put cash? Mm -hmm. Well, no. You can take it. You can take it. You can take it since, since, since they want to do $67 that they don't fucking have since they claim they care about the motherfucking kids. Since, since, they, since they claim they care about the motherfucking kids, they should have paid for it, you dumb bitch. Shay has been constantly sent DoorDash. She's had people show up at her house looking to fight. More on that later. She's had people throwing food at her house. There is some real public hate for Lachey Hinton. And believe me, that hate is a two-way street. If Shay is riled up one day and she sees chat giving her a hard time, she will absolutely pop 
off. If I'm being completely honest, it seems like she gets more angry about the chat criticizing her than she does about people throwing food on her home. She is often so riled up by these comments, she will start yelling at the camera incoherently, sometimes even punching the phone out of sheer anger. I, went, I was right on live, and I paused the live! I paused the live when this shit happened! I paused the live! I paused the live when this shit happened! I should not, I should not have to get on here and doing this shit! And this, man, you're fucking ridiculous! You're fucking delusional, bro! Stop fucking playing with my motherfucking top! Stop playing with my motherfucking household! I don't give a fuck what y'all heard, bro! Y'all didn't see shit! I don't give a fuck about what y'all heard! Y'all didn't see nothing! Y'all didn't see shit! Y'all didn't see shit! Y'all heard! Y'all heard! Y'all didn't see nothing! I paused it because of what she said! I paused it because- No, I don't need to take a break! Motherfuckers need to leave me the fuck alone! Motherfuckers need to leave me the fuck alone! At the end of the day, I was on here doing my motherfucking makeup. This is the shit I'm talking about. I was on here doing my motherfucking makeup and motherfuckers doing this shit to get to me. This is what y'all want, y'all got it. No, I don't need to get off live. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. No, he did not say that. Shay wants us to believe that she's a great mother and that she's never done anything bad to her kids. Contrary to numerous videos showing her doing the exact opposite. Let me just read you some of the allegations against Shay and keep in mind that almost every single one of them is backed up with a mountain of evidence. We're gonna start with the infamous video of Shay spitting on her eldest son. In this video, Shay is not only seen throwing a ball of trash at her son, but also spitting on him, an eight-year-old child. There's also been people talking about how Shay will restrict food from the children. I myself have even witnessed a video of one of the boys going up to her, asking for food, and she rages out on them. And when she asks the boy if he was starving, he responded yes. There's also the fact that Shay likes to bring a lot of new and shady men around the house, many of them having ties to petty criminal organizations, and definitely endangering her children in the process. Shay will drink around the children very often and play loud music in the middle of the night when they're supposed to be asleep, and one of her worst offenses is not taking the children to school. It was revealed by some people looking into Shay that Shay's eight-year-old son, the oldest, had not attended school for 90 days he was supposed to that year. That is almost one in every three days of school he has missed. All because Shay can't be bothered to take him. And when all of this information was revealed to the internet, Shay would go live, trying to blame it all on the trolls. I'm not shutting shit up! Ain't shit funny right now! Ain't shit funny right now. Y'all, y'all, no, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, bro. No, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit, bro. I want to fight right now, bro. I want to fucking fight right now, bro. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this stalking shit. I want to beat the motherfucking ass who doing this shit, bro. That's why I'm crying, because I want action right now. I want action right now. I want action right now. That's what the fuck I want. I'm tired of this shit, bro. 
I don't need to take a break. Motherfuckers need to leave me the fuck alone. I don't need to take a break. Motherfuckers need to leave me the fuck alone, bro. Y'all fucking with my kids, bro. Y'all fucking with my kids, bro. Y'all fucking with my fucking kids, bro. Make it make sense, bro. I'm not getting no shit, bitch. Make me get the fuck off this motherfucking internet, you lame ass bitch. I'm doing this shit for my motherfucking kids, bro. I guarantee y'all would. I guarantee y'all would go the fuck off if somebody fucking with y'all motherfucking kids, bro. Somebody fucking with you. Somebody posting you, posting your address, putting your address in the comments, making you seem like you crazy, but whole time motherfucking fucking with your household. Shay will quite often claim that she's doing something or another for the children, and her actions will display the exact opposite, then blaming everything on the trolls saying that they need to leave her alone. This seems to be a shared sentiment for people like Shay. They believe that they should be able to post on the internet without any form of criticism touching them. But sadly for them, that is not how the internet or the world works. People are going to call you out if you claim to be a good mother while letting your children live in abject filth and miss 90 days of school. But Shay legitimately cannot help herself. If she sees a critical comment rolling through her TikTok live, you bet she's gonna address it. Having mental episodes like this almost every week it feels like. And keep in mind, all of this is occurring around the kids who are at the ages of 8 and 4, extremely crucial times in their development. This is the role model that they have. And Shay does this all the time. She don't even take a break for holidays. Here's her raging at the comments section on her birthday. Come put, come catch that flight. Catch that flight and whoop my ass. She won't stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Like stop playing with me. If a fuck this motherfucker, they can come get this action. And that's on my dead brother. That's on my dead brother. That's on my dead brother. I want, I, I want Miss Miles. Ass. I want every troll ass. To come over here, catch fight, and come catch this ass whooping. Y'all stay, y'all stay, y'all stay saying I'm, y'all stay saying I'm, I'm the problem. I'm not the problem. I don't give a fuck about none of you hoes. I don't give a fuck about none of you hoes. That's what my dad, daddy, brain. I'm great, bro. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I don't do shit with you hoes. I don't talk about you hoes until I'm telling me. Y'all consistently talking about me. Consistently talking about me. What the fuck I do to you? Nobody knows about shit. As you can clearly see, Shay is very antagonistic towards her trolls, and from what I've seen, it only emboldens them. She knows her address is on the internet, and she is literally inviting these people to show up at her house, and she'll fight them. It cannot be understated just how much heat she has right now. The hate for Shay that some people feel runs very deep so deep that invitations like this cannot be ignored, because one day Shay was live on her porch, a very common thing. Two women would walk up to Shay's front gate and begin calling her things that I cannot repeat here on YouTube. In a display of sheer mental instability, she walks right up to one of them and swings. Needless to say, this did not end up going very well for Shay. While I'm not sure if that man came with those two ladies, I am sure that the excitement he was feeling was palpable. 
Shay literally asked for this to happen. She's always telling people to leave her alone, to mind their own business, but then the next day she's inviting them to her house to have a fist fight. And what you just saw was more of a beatdown than a fist fight. Shay got absolutely wrecked. Those kicks while she was down on the ground were pretty brutal. But she took it like a champ, which makes me think this isn't the first time she's suffered that kind of damage. What always seems to evade Shay is the fact that people are so angry about all this because it involves kids. If it was just her, talking shit, living in filth, I doubt anyone would have a problem with it. Shay has even pulled the kids on camera before, Shaney for Christ style, using them to defend her from the trolls. All of this is horrible for their development, from living with mice and bed bugs, to their mother screaming and yelling at all hours of the night, bringing home shady men. It would not shock me for a minute that she has damaged those boys' psyches in ways that will never heal. And there is evidence behind this, because one day while Lachey was live, she was also watching her niece. While Shay was messing around on live, you could hear in the background the little girl complaining about what the two boys were doing to her. While we don't know exactly what happened, I know what I heard in the video, I'm not going to include it here. It's very disturbing stuff, but at best, what was going on was extremely inappropriate. At worst, it was some kind of assault. These boys are both four and eight years old. They have no idea the wrong that they're doing. They haven't been taught. In my opinion, the blame for this situation is all laid at Shay's feet for not watching them, and especially not doing anything to stop it. Just sitting there, continuing her live stream. This would cause a lot of problems for Shay. Not only was her chat filled with comments asking her why she didn't do anything, but it seemed like the CPS were visiting her more and more often. Like I said before, she's been charged with two cases of child neglect, and is very clearly unable to not only take care of herself, but her children. That's not the way Shay sees it though. The way Shay sees it is that all the problems stem from people who are hating her and harassing her family. In her mind, both she and the boys had done nothing wrong. That the trolls had blown this whole niece situation out of proportions, all to get her kids taken away. And as you know, Shay generally responds to these kinds of situations with rage. And she would rage no harder than when she hopped on a live stream with one of her detractors and started debating the validity of the niece incident. It seems like whenever people start making valid arguments against Shay, her response is to just out-yell them. I've never seen her accept consequences for the actions, I've never seen her apologize for anything. All I ever see is her making excuses for this behavior. And it's like I stated previously, all of that wouldn't be an issue if Shay wasn't bringing children into this. And it's not just her kids too who she's involving in all of this. Shay was busted in a group chat full of high school kids. 
it seemed like she had befriended these high schoolers, and sometimes the conversations would trail off into a sexual nature. I didn't see her solicit any of them, but still, the way that she was talking around them, knowing that they were all underage, is very creepy. Often describing her various exploits with criminals, who she seemed to prefer over regular partners. It has legitimately been red flag after red flag with Lachey Hinton. There's mountains of evidence out there to substantiate that she has abused her children, she's even gotten two charges of child neglect for it, and really only one of the positives that came out of this story was that her youngest, the four-year-old, is no longer in custody of her. She has proven herself to be mentally unstable, unable to care for them, and I truly believe this is one of the rare cases where it's the best option for these kids. We can only pray that she seeks help, and that her other child is taken into the custody of someone else. Because it seems like even though her youngest is gone, these things are still happening. And we can only hope that they haven't already affected the children for the rest of their lives. And that's all I have on Lachey Hinton today. Pretty brutal story if I'm being completely honest. There were a couple moments during researching this that just devastated me. There's some videos that I won't show in here, but if you want to check it out, there's a couple of subreddits that are amazing. I'll link them in the description below, and I'm also going to link some amazing channels, just so you guys can go out there and find the more brutal stuff if you want to. Just be warned some of it is very hard to watch. I really appreciate you guys sticking around, especially till the end. It is not lost on me how hard of a watch this must be for some people, and to make it to the end truly took some grit. I'm proud of you, and I can't wait to show you guys the next vid I have in store. I hope that you all have a wonderful night, and be sure to keep it Kiwi. Cause I want action right now! I want action right now! I want action right now. That's what the fuck I want. I'm tired of this shit, bro.